Hello, this is the first of a series about Chapel, the programming language, from Cray. Uh, we'll start off by installing the required elements for getting up and running. I'm using Fedora 19, and we can install what's required by doing yum subversion is going to be needed and GCC. I already have them installed. Uh, there are the versions and now we can get started with getting the source code. To get the source code we're going to want to go to chapel.cray.com which is their main home page. From here we can get their source code by going to their source code data repository. And if we go to code, we then can copy the download link. Here if we just paste it, I'm not going to put it in the directory called code, mine's just going to be called chapel. If we run that, it'll go to SourceForge and download the latest information. This takes a few minutes, so I'll tell you a little bit more. Um, right now, the current live version is 1.7.0. They're expected to release 1.8, I believe, next month, uh, which would be... Uh, September 2013 or they're releasing it in October 2013 and the initiative was started uh, by Cray to fill something that DARPA was looking for in massive uh, multi-core programming for parallel programming um, I believe the only language right now that's close to doing it is MPI, uh, which is a little hard to work with and it's sort of moving away from its real foundation. Uh, when Chapel started, they entered into this competition for the DARPA award with IBM and Sun Microsystems. Uh, Sun started something called uh, um, their well started their own programming language, which is gone now. And IBM started X10, which is still going on. It's built on top of Java, and this is built on top of C++. So we'll get started. We have the latest version. We'll now go into the directory that it was downloaded in. Here we can see all our files. We run make to build the code. It's built it's pretty quick. Um, to verify, you have you have it in bin. Then um, Linux and then there's chat. If you run that, it'll give you what it looks like. Uh, you can also put it in your path of your file. So in your home directory, your bash RC file, and just grab it for it. And if you put that in your bash rc file somewhere near the bottom, it will automatically add it to, so you don't need to put it in the path, you can just run it that way. Now this, this is going to change because if you didn't change the chapel slash code, it's going to be chapel slash code. I prefer just to put it in chapel. We have it built, we have it installed. Now we're just gonna do a simple hello world, which is the basic for any programming language. 
So we'll go back. I've created a directory called Chapel Tutorials. I use um, BI for programming anything, and we're going to just call it hello and chat. And if you're used to C++ or Java, you're pretty, pretty used to the syntax. It also works pretty well for anyone with any background in Python. Uh, comment, we'll just put a comment in of this is our first chapel program. And we will do a simple right line. Hello world. And that is really all you need. And we'll build it. The option O is to say what the output file we want, and that'll be hello, and you need to put in the source file, run that, it'll compile it, set it up, so we can execute the program, and you see hello in there, if we do it, if we run it, we get our hello back. Really that's if for the first video these videos are going to be pretty short simplistic to the point going through some basic syntax in the beginning and then working further into actually building programs um, if you'd like to see anything particular built or would like to know about know more about the videos I'll be putting up on YouTube put it in the comments and I'll reply and that's it for the first video Thank you.